Predictions from a regression line. So we're going to start in statistics and this really carries on from video 411. Uh, I'll go fairly quickly through setting it up to graph it. We're going to go straight to, um, we've entered our paired data here for the uh, births and deaths for paired suburbs here. And we're going to go straight to calc, regression, linear regression here and say OK because everything's good and the equation of our regression line is displayed as soon as we tap OK then um, we've got our graph set up here. Now um, to do a prediction my preferred way is simply to tap onto the trace icon now and that puts the uh, cursor on the regression line. If we want to do a prediction for when x is 90 we simply type 90 in from the keyboard and you'll notice that a little um, dialog box pops up, enter value, the x value is 90. When we say OK, Classpad jumps straight to the 90. Now I'm just going to tap resize here and you can see when x is 90 on the regression line the y coordinate is 61.19. Note the equation of the regression line to a fair degree of accuracy displayed at the top uh, here. If we wanted to predict maybe somewhere down around here at 40, we don't have to do anything else except type in 40. 4, 0, OK. It jumps to 40. Maybe we want to do for 50. So we can type in 5, 0, OK. And it jumps to 50. And each time we're reading off the uh, prediction from the regression line here at the bottom of the screen. So that's method one. Now I'm just going to close the graph window and we'll start again on method two. So um, again, we go through the same process, calc, regression, linear regression, but this time I'm going to copy the formula into Y1. Now Y1 is one of the graph entry boxes in graph and table. So when I tap OK now, we see the same screen. Here's the uh, equation of the regression line. And again, Classpad draws it in. But now what I'm going to do to do a prediction for 90 is to tap on to the square root of alpha up here which will open up a copy of main in the top window here and using the keyboard over here I'm going to go down to ABC tab and get the lowercase and type in Y1 uh, open a bracket and what we're going to do now is this is rather like function notation we go on a substitute 90 into uh, the equation stored in Y1 and when I tap execute uh, because I'm in standard mode I got a kind of crazy fraction but let's just try that again in decimal mode and 61.19 um, is our prediction and to do any more predictions we can simply take a copy of it down maybe we're interested in 40 uh, execute and so on so it's a very quick way to get and record um, the predicted values uh, let's just check if I tap off to menu here and look at graph and table you can see here is the regression line stored um, into graph and table so I'm just using that back in main um, now while we're back in main here it's fairly handy to do this because of extrapolation if we wanted to do a prediction for 120 so I'll change that to 120 this method is no problem uh, back in statistics Let's just run through that again. Regression, linear regression, OK and OK. If I tried that method now and uh, went into trace mode, this is back to method one, and typed in 120, what happens when I tap OK is I get a domain error. That's because on the scale of our window here, 120 uh, is off to the right. You can see at the bottom here, the right hand scale is 101. So I'm trying to predict off the screen. What we have to do is tap OK and cancel our prediction. Upstairs we can zoom out. So Classpad redraws it and now you can see the scale goes from 0 to 135. So I should be fine to do a prediction for 120. I tap onto XY, type in 120, the dialog box opens up. I say OK and now we can get out to 120 and get the same value. Let's just check that. If I tap the square root, you can see here was our method back in main and here was our method without leaving statistics.